Barry B. Benson is a B who recently graduated from college and is dissatisfied with his only job option, working for Honex to create honey in New Hive City. Soon after, Barry chooses to travel into the big wide amazing world of Manhattan, where he meets the eccentric Vanessa, a human florist whose partner is allergic to bees and continually tries to kill the bee. Barry eventually forms a connection with Vanessa, which begins with the now famous phrase yeah like jazz, which violates one of the commandments of Beatum, never talk to humans. While studying humanity in the huge city of New York, Barry finds that humans have been collecting and eating bee honey and decides to initiate a class action lawsuit against humans for taking their honey. In the lawsuit, Barry is pitted against Leighton T. Montgomery, a lawyer who represents the firms. After confirming that, indeed, he is a talking bee. Barry sends in a bear to terrify Leighton and serve as proof. A scuffle ensues, leaving Montgomery confined to a wheelchair-like device. On the second day of the trial, Leighton questions why they aren't progressing with the case, and shortly after, he takes out an agricultural gear used to extract honey, which hurts the bees. The case is over, and the bees have won. So Barry prevails and demands the closure of all five large honey companies who have been unfairly using bees as laborers. The only drawback is that bees cease pollinating flowers, which causes all plant life to perish and the earth to become desolate. Barry recognizes, with the support of all the other bees, that their species committed a mistake and embarks on a vast operation to fertilize the entire earth. It succeeds, 